Um, so I am very pleased to introduce Carly Perugio, um, who comes to us from a background in audio producing and audio um, recording with the Natural Resources Council of Maine. Um, she has a graduate certificate in audio storytelling uh, from the Salt Institute for Documentary Studies at the Maine College of Arts, and she also holds a bachelor's in anthropology from Bates College. Um, and one of Carly's many, many talents um, is her ability to really connect with others and put people at ease while she's interviewing them, um, which has it's a skill that's really proved invaluable um, during her time with us this summer. Um, the photo that you see there on the screen is uh, Carly in action doing an interview with um, some, of, some of the stories she produced for us. Uh, so she's been just an incredible asset to the city and a really valued member of her community. So, Carly, over to you. Well, thank you so much, Mary. And first, I'd like to play for you an audio clip. And you're about to hear from Pat Martin, who's a member of a local group in Maine called the Clean Energy Team. Um, so, can you play the clip, please? As you get older, it's hard to be hopeful, right? especially when you see the constant backsliding. So my emotions were pride and hope. So Pat in that clip is talking about her reactions to the city of Keene passing a sustainable energy resolution. And that resolution commits to a 100% use of um, renewable energy by 2050. And the clean energy team is the group that you can see in this photo. And they were a driving force to making the resolution happen. They introduced it to the city council. They tabled at community events and held community meetings. And I'm telling that to you so that um, I can just convey that um, the sustainable energy resolution was very much a community driven process. And I really love that clip of Pat because I think you can hear in her voice the, um, the pride um, that she has and the sense of accomplishment. And so we think a big question is, now that you have this, you know, sustainable energy resolution, what do you do next? And right now the city of Keene um, is working to develop a sustainable energy plan that will include strategies for how Keene can meet those goals. And that plan is in part informed by community feedback. And so my role this summer has been to help get the word out about this planning process and hopefully engage more people in this planning process. And I think it's important to note that in a, you know, pandemic free world, um, this, this fellowship would have looked a lot different. I, to be quite honest, I think a lot of the work that I, I would have done would be like the clean energy team, you know, meeting with folks in person, putting on community events. But instead, what I did is build a website that's just focused on the sustainable energy plan. And so it's one place for community members to get information or learn more about what's happening. So on the next slide, you'll see that the website includes a few different things. There are resources about energy efficiency. We have surveys for community feedback. Um, I designed an energy plan roadmap, which is sort of a visual guide for, for how, um, how Keen can meet its goals. And of course, um, I've produced audio stories this summer. Um, some of them are interviews with community members. So that clip that you heard of Pat is part of a, a larger episode about the clean energy team. And um, there are also on the website um, audio guides about particular strategies that um, might be helpful for meeting Keen's energy goals. And to do that, I spoke with local voices, but also communities throughout New England that have been putting these, um, these policies into practice. Um, and you can actually see on this slide that I've produced six pieces so far, and there's another coming next week. So more work to be done. Um, and if you would move to the next slide, please, you know, I, I am sure that I'm not alone in, um, you know, waiting for the day when we can meet in person again, but I'm, I'm really glad um, that we took the approach that we did this summer because um, my hope is that moving forward, Keen can continue to use this, this website as a way to connect with community members and share information in a way that's accessible and clear. And, you know, I hope that maybe there's someone who might not have gone to a community event, but maybe they'll, they'll find the website and be able to learn more about community power. And I think another, another thing 
that is important to me is that in, in a world where we can't quite meet in person anymore, I like the idea that you can hear the voice of your neighbor and hear how she talks about how proud she is of, of Keen for, for doing this. And I think that can be a really special tool for connection too. So just to conclude, I really want to thank my mentors, Mary Brunner and Rhett Lamb. Um, it's been so great to work with you and I can't wait until we can meet in person. And also thank you so much to the UNH team. Um, it's really been a pleasure and um, to work with the fellows too and all the lessons learned. So thanks for listening. <laughs>